Today we're gonna unbox the Olympus OMD EM1X. Coming at ya. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So I've never used an Olympus camera, but I'm a really big fan of Micro Four Thirds. We're filming on the GH5 right now. And there's a few problems I have with the GH5 and the Olympus promises to fix them all. So, and before we get too far into the video, I would like to thank my friends over at B&H Photo for sending me the EM1X to make a series of videos about. If you'd like to get your very own, there will be links in the description below. I cannot wait to open this up and start using it because even though I know it got panned on the internet, much like every camera these days seems to get like panned on the internet, this, if it works out well, could be like the perfect vlogging camera. It's expensive, but could be like perfect. And sometimes you gotta pay for perfection. So in the box, we get this other little box. What do we got in here? Ooh, an instruction manual that is in a box. That's pretty cool. Basic manual, man. Olympus and Canon, they uh, they really, they really want you to understand, which is good. Um, I don't read instructions generally, and I've never actually used an Olympus camera before, which is weird, because again, I love Micro Four Thirds, but I'm generally a Panasonic guy, not an Olympus guy, but I'm very excited. Ooh, uh-oh, the straps, you know what that means. Leave a comment below if you use the straps that come with your camera. I love, I love finding out. A lot of you guys do. It's like split right down the middle, so really let me know, because I'm always curious to see which way does it swing, because I'm, I'm very curious. Okay, so we get... Ooh, we get a battery. That's a huge battery, too. Now, one of the cool things, or bad things, depending on who you are and what kind of cameras you like, is the EM1X comes with a built-in battery grip. And I believe it comes with two batteries. Now, that's awesome. Those are some huge batteries. What are they? 1,700 milliamp hour battery times two uh, with a camera. That's Awesome. What else? Ooh, we got the battery charger. We got the battery charger. I mean, it should come with a battery charger if you're doing a camera. There's the cable to charge the battery charger. There's the cable. There's the cable to plug in the battery charger, which is awesome. Ooh, is that a second battery charger? You get two battery chargers. I'm already, I'm already impressed. I mean, again, this is not a cheap camera. This is a $3,000 camera, so I would hope that it comes, there's a second cable for the, uh, there's a second cable for the second battery charger. Okay, so what else we got in here? We got, looks like some HDMI clamps, some kind of clamps, which is cool. Another cable, a USB-C cable to plug into the camera. I don't know yet if this can be powered with USB-C. If that can be powered with USB-C, that's awesome. I think more cameras need that. There's the clamps, clamps. That's all from that side. Now, oh man, it's big. Can we get the, is that it? Is it just, is it camera time now? Or is that, is that, that is everything in the box. So let's set the box over here. Let's keep the batteries out. Let's put all the, all the extra stuff back in the box. Cause we gotta be tidy. Even though don't see what's nice about this field of view is that you don't get to see how messy my office actually is. It's messy. Okay, here is the big daddy itself. Ooh, that is a big, big camera, but that feels so good. Now, if you know me again, I use the GH5. I've been using the GH5 for a long time, and I always just put a battery grip on it anyway, so my GH5 is always about this size anyway. Look at that. Ooh, Micro Four Thirds gets a lot of crap, but I'm a big fan of it. Lots of buttons. Oh, I love buttons. Oh, I love how that feels. That is a fantastic feeling camera. Like that, that's like perfect. Like that's about the perfect shape of a camera. It's already got the battery grip installed. Oh, I am really, really, I already love how this thing feels. This might be my favorite feeling camera of all time. So if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that I said that the EOS R is one of my favorite feeling cameras and the GH5 is the runner up. This is probably the new winner. It's got, it's got dual card slots and I like this little, it keeps them in there. This thing also has like super weather sealing and I mean, you can see the gasket right there. Ooh, everything feels, okay, there's that one. Feels good, it's got a mode dial button, which I'm a huge fan of function switch. This is like the customizable button from uh, from heck. Look at all these buttons. I love it. I never really do this, but it's also on the battery grip, gives you the ability to do it horizontally. 
we've got the most important part, the flip screen. This is like a camera with great stabilization, a flip screen, and it's supposed to have good autofocus. That's what the video we're gonna do on Wednesday is gonna be an autofocus test because if this has good autofocus, I don't wanna buy a $3,000 camera, but GH5, you might you might be in trouble because my, because what I always say is my perfect camera would be a GH5 with good autofocus. It might be what this is. So let's see if we've got any battery life inside of these. Ooh, I like the battery grip a little way. Let's pop these batteries in. Hopefully with two batteries that came with it, maybe they can get like enough charge for a, a few moments of use. Let's flip the screen around. Where's the on button? On. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I already, I'm, Never used an Olympus camera, but I'm really, uh, I'm really excited about this. Got fully, it should be fully touch enabled, right? Oh, it's not fully touch enabled. I thought this was gonna be like Panasonic where it would be fully touch enabled. Does it do touch to focus? Okay, well it does touch to focus at least. Let's go back over here. Bracketing, HDR, video mode, mode settings, P, who does that? Let's go to aperture priority mode because we want as blurry background as possible because you know, that's one of the, you know, that's one of the hard things about Micro Four Thirds. Specifications, it can do UHD 4K up to 30 frames per second. I do wish it did it at 60, you know, like the GH5. It does, looks like it does Cinema 4K at 24 frames per second. That just means 17 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, F full HD at 120 frames per second. So again, it, it doesn't have all of the same things. It doesn't have all the same video features as the GH5, which is one of my, you know, which will probably be one of the issues I have. I'm trying to touch the screen there. AFIS, yeah, it's got um, that autofocus. I'm so excited. So it's got different levels of stabilization on it. IS1, image stabilization performed by both the sensor and digitally. IS2, only sensor, not digitally. I generally don't like digital stabilization, so we'll leave it at two. IS level, I don't know. Hi, I want I want it to be stable, right? We'll have to mess around with this a little more, but uh, yeah, the camera feels great. Let's pop the lens on it real quick. I don't have any Olympus lenses. I just have my Panasonic lenses, but um, they should work the same because Panasonic and Olympus kind of work together. On Micro Four Thirds, look at all that information. Ooh, we don't, let's, 2.8. Let's bring you back up to zero. I like how this, I really like how this monitor looks. I really like how this screen looks. Um, let's, got the little joystick. You got dose, you got dual joysticks, which is exciting. What's that button do? Who knows? We'll figure it out later. Switch it between functions. What is, what do we got over here? Ah, uh, all right, big negative. Big negative micro HDMI on a $3,000 micro four thirds camera. That might be a deal breaker for me. We got headphone out. We got microphone in, but a micro HDMI Olympus. You're doing so much right. You got to give me a full H. If you're going to make a camera body this big, that's like a basic requirement is to have a full HDMI in it. So that's disappointing. But let's pop an SD card in and see how it looks indoors. I do, I, you know what? I'm starting to like this little, this little SD card door. Ugh, I don't like where that record, that record button's pretty far, is it like, that stinks, it's not like the GH5 where, I'm sure we can set that up, but let's hit record. So we are recording. Okay, and this is the indoor, and this is the indoor image quality with, ugh, it's heavy. This is an in, the indoor image quality of the OMD EM1X. I just have the Leica 12 to 60 uh, GH5 kit lens on here. I have it set to aperture priority mode, set to 2.8. Uh, you, I mean, you've seen all the settings, so I don't know. I hope this, I really like the flip screen. looks pretty good. How's the, I don't see any face tracking autofocus going on. So uh, we'll have to dig more into that later. Again, I don't know much about the camera. I don't know much about the settings. We'll have to play with all that. This is super initial impressions, uh, but I do really like how the body feels. I like the customization. If this is what the image quality looks like, it looks pretty good. 